Hello everyone, welcome back to another haul video on my channel. Today I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. I've been kind of collecting things and over the past week or so, just like a whole bunch of stuff came in at once. So I decided why not just film a haul video for you guys since I have quite a bit of stuff to share with you. And also I have some PR stuff that I've gotten, which are like gifts from companies. And I thought I would throw them in here as well, just to show you guys uh, the, some of the stuff that I got, but I will let you know uh, if something was a gift or not. So make sure to check that description box below and I will be very specific on what was sent to me as a gift, but I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm excited about. Amazon, Clear Jelly Stamper. I ordered from a new company, new to me, called Glitz Accessories and such. I've never ordered from them before and they have a lot of nail art products. So I ordered from them. We've got some of those flash on, flash off gels. We got tons of stuff, so can't wait to show you guys. Um, Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first box that I have is from Clear Jelly Stamper, and I got three different stamping plates from them. This is number 68, and it's this really cute little like spring bee themed. I believe it's called Save the Bees. So you've got some little sayings down here, a little honey pot, some bees, little honeycomb. I love these like little wildflowers and stuff. So, so this one is super cute. I can't wait to use this one. I also got this one, which I have been eyeing for like quite a while. It's number LC07 and it is all of these like potted plants and tons of sayings like plant mama. I thought it was so cute. I have so many friends who are into plants and they need every single plant and I just saw this. I thought it was adorable and I could already think of like multiple clients who would love these uh, images. And I love this like little like geometric, almost kind of like terrazzo pattern up here as well. So that one's adorable. And if you look at the way that it's laid out, you can actually like put pretty much any plant in any pot. Like there's so many combinations that you can do with that one. Uh, this next one is called LC13 and it's a floral plate. And I was thinking again, spring for this one, but this one's more of like, um, it doesn't have the outlines of the flowers, more of just like the shading. So I thought that was really pretty. I've seen quite a few people do some really beautiful different florals, uh, like almost like a bouquet on the nail and it looks so pretty. So you've got multiple different sizes too. You've got these big ones and you've also got some smaller ones for smaller nails. I grabbed some stamping polishes. So I grabbed number 02 or 002, which is the white. And I grabbed a large uh, container of that one because you always go through white and black the most. So it's always good to have like a large white and black or just extras just in case you run out. So I grabbed the large white one. And then I wanted to grab mostly metallics. Like I love stamping with metallics because they just show up so nicely. Uh, this one is number 94. It's a really pretty metallic pink. Um, number 54. And it's a sparkly metallic fuchsia. There's the two, the pink and that fuchsia one next to each other. So you can see the differences. Um, this one's not a metallic. This one's number 25. And it's kind of like a periwinkle blue purple. So that's cute. Uh, this one's not a metallic. Again, number 13. This is a really dark blue, almost like a navy blue. Uh, I have number 30, which is a metallic purple. Number 26, which is a metallic green, which you always need good greens for spring because whenever you stamp flowers, you usually will add like leaves and stuff. Not all the time, but sometimes. But so greens are really good to have. So number 26 is a nice metallic green. Number 35 is another metallic purple, but it's more of like a light purple with like a silver base in it. Uh, number 36 is going to be another blue. This one's more like, maybe like a denim blue, I would describe it. And lastly, number 101, which is a really gorgeous. It's like a mermaidy, like 
teal blue color, but it has like a gold uh, shimmer in it or like a gold metallic base. It's like so pretty. That was number 101. And then I also grabbed their new rectangle stamper. So it has one stamping head on the top and then it has another, an extra one down here at the bottom, which is nice. And you can tell like if you compare it with my nail, it's pretty big. So if you have somebody with like long nails, you could definitely get a very large image with this one. So that's the new clear jelly stamper rectangle stamper. And here is the stamping scraper that came with it, which is a really pretty metallic stamping scraper. I also grabbed two of these, which is their uh, polish racks. They're pretty small and I was hoping they would fit in my Alex drawers at my desk. And then I'm gonna plan on reorganizing and putting all of my clear jelly polishes in these uh, racks and then putting them in my drawer so they're kind of put away. But they do actually hold two of the little polishes or one of the big ones. And then they also hold just any regular like gel polish as well. I don't remember how many exactly it can hold. It probably depends on what you're putting in it, but I actually ordered two of these, but now that I see that you can actually fit two of the little smaller bottles like together, I probably only needed one, but uh, now I have two. So that is what I have from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I do have a 10% off a discount code from anything Clear Jelly Stamper, which is Katie Dutra, just my first and last name, and you can get 10% off your order from Clear Jelly Stamper. So don't forget to use that if you order anything. So this next one is from a new company, new to me. It's not a new company, but I've never ordered anything from them before. And their brand is Glitz Accessories and Such. And they have so many nail art like goodies. And I have actually been kind of eyeing them for a little bit. And so I finally like pulled the trigger and actually placed an order. So I'll show you guys everything that I got from them. And first of all, uh, this is the item that I have been eyeing for a while. So it is a gel that is used to adhere your crystals with, but I'll show you the cool thing about it. So it actually has this cool tip, which if I take this off, you can see it, I believe. Yeah. So you has this really fine, like needle tip that applies the gel in here. And so it was actually coming out. So when you are applying your crystals, you always want to make sure and get into the little, little nooks and crannies of your crystals. So you can actually use this and actually get right in between the crystals and squeeze out just a little bit of this gel. And it's going to hold those crystals in like so nicely. And because this is so fine, you'll actually be able to get like in between all these little crevices and it's going to hold those crystals like so well. So it keeps coming out. So I got to put that little stopper back on it, but um, I'm super excited because that'll be so easy. And this is the I hold precision gel glue from Glitz Accessories. And I believe if I twist, yeah, if I twist that, you also have a brush in there. So you kind of have some options of how you want to use it, but that tiny, tiny little like precision applicator, that's the reason I bought this stuff. So I'm excited to use it. So I'm gonna put this in my crystal drawer. I got some dried flowers and this is like, it doesn't look like very much, but I think they're like packed in there. And it's a little jar full of different colored dried flowers, which the past couple, actually this past spring, um, my clients were like going nuts over the dried flowers and I definitely needed to stock up on some more colors because I was not going to have enough. Like as soon as spring's come is coming around, I have to make sure and have enough of these dried flowers. So I got, there's quite a bit in here and lots of different colors, yellow, orange, blue, purple, pink, green. I got some stickers and some foils. So for stickers, I grabbed these really cute like Mickey and Minnie stickers. I have a lot of clients who go to Disneyland, obviously not right now because it's closed, but because I live um, 
only a couple hours flying distance to go to Disneyland. I do have quite a few clients every year who go to Disneyland. So uh, it's always good. I thought it'd be good to have um, some Disney stickers. And it's cool because they have those. They have like some name brand kind of stickers. So some really cute Mickey Mini stickers, different luxury brands, Louis Vuitton, Adidas, Chanel, Prada, YSL, uh, Gucci, Dior. So these are kind of cool. These are black. Um, here's some more Chanel stickers. I got some white Louis Vuitton stickers, black Louis Vuitton stickers. I got these, they had these like Baby Yoda stickers. So I just had to throw them in there because you never know, those are adorable. Um, some spring floral stickers, like roses. Uh, some sunflowers and there's some little butterflies some more louis vuitton but these ones are like metallic gold uh more louis vuitton but these are multicolored louis vuitton i've had a couple clients in the past mm, i would say six months or so or past year ask for louis vuitton and i can technically paint it but it does take longer so i thought i would just have some like little backups just in case uh just to quickly you know put them on there if i need something in a pinch. Um, these really pretty, um, what flower, pansies, these little pansy flowers, uh, super cute, definitely good to have for spring, anything floral, and then also some tropical stickers. And I also got some foils from them. I got two Louis Vuitton foils. This one is clear with the black Louis Vuitton print. And then this one is clear with a brown Louis Vuitton print. And then I got two uh, boxes of foils here. I got one, which is all snake patterns. Actually, I have a couple snake pattern foils right now, but the reason I liked these is because these patterns are so tight. They're so small because I don't do very many clients who have super long nails. Most of my clients have medium to short nails. So the ones, the foils that I have right now, the patterns are so large that it wouldn't really look like a snake print if you put it on a short nail. So I wanted to have something where if you were only, you know, getting this much of the foil, would it still look like a snake print? So that's why I grabbed these. And I've also seen Sharin from SMG Nails. She does such pretty work with foils and I've seen her use snake print foils. So I had to grab some snake ones. And the last thing is another box of foils. And I don't remember what these ones were called. I think they were like, oh, I don't remember. I'll have to look. I'll definitely make sure and link everything down below. But these ones are all like fruit. I think it's called like fruit salad or fruit garden or something. But such cute. Like this is like avocados. Um, this one, I'm going to pull it out. Because I haven't actually looked at these. Um, such cute cute like adorable like summer these are gonna be so cute you got strawberries oranges blueberries on that one so those were adorable so i grabbed those so that it is everything from the glitz accessories and such here is their website as well as their Instagram and Facebook. So glitz, accessories, and such. So next I'll move into some Amazon stuff. Okay, I got some stuff from Amazon and I have a story about these fruits here. So I saw Talia from Talia's Nail Tales order this from Amazon, which has a whole bunch of those little Fimo slices with a whole bunch of different fruits. And I actually had a client who wanted strawberry Fimo in her nails. And then I realized that I only had like three strawberries. So I ordered this and you can see you got carrots, uh, white grapes. Now this I believe is a strawberry. Um, you know, you got all sorts of different things. I love the little bananas over here. The only thing is that when I opened it, I realized the strawberries are not the kind that I wanted. So I then ordered again another thing and I ordered a giant bag of only these little half strawberries. So now I have more Fimo fruit than I will ever need, but I am ready for the strawberries. So I have so many strawberries, like a huge, there's no way I'll ever, ever go through this entire bag. 
um, plus all these other fruits. So these are from Amazon. And it was totally my bad because in the picture on Amazon, I went back and double checked and it shows that it's these types of strawberries, not these. So I was like, dang it. Like now I have to order more strawberries. So I've got so much female slices. And then they also came with a tweezer as well. So then I ordered these. So like they're these little labels that you can paint and put on top of your bottles. So they have little sticky pads right there. And I actually got these specifically for the clear jelly stamper polishes because I realized if I'm going to put them in my drawer that I will not be able to see really what color they are looking down from the top. So I ordered these. I saw someone else do it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So um, what the other person did that I saw, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, who I originally saw. It was like some random post on Facebook, I think. Um, she took the sticker off and put moved it down here so she still remembered what number it was and then put this on top and it has the color on it. So you actually would go through and paint these on the stick, let them dry, and then you can stick them on top. But you could also stick them on top of any bottle, really. So I got a big pack of those. I might want to use them for something else eventually, so I have a big old... Uh, bag of those ready to go. Okay, I grabbed a couple things from Magpie Beauty USA. This is the one item, actually there's two items that I have already used. So this is some butterfly stickers and I really liked the pink butterflies that they had on this sticker sheet. And I believe this is number, I believe it's number 53, I think. Um, again, I'll make sure and link everything down below, but so you got all these nice butterfly stickers, which butterflies are huge for springtime. So I love having these little butterfly stickers. I'll put a picture in here on what I used them for, but they turned out so cute. So got some butterfly stickers. I got some more stickers. Um, these cute little, like almost like modern little flowers. I think those are really cute. Uh, some abstract like little color blocking stickers, some tropical stickers. These are some like abstract faces and flowers. Oh, and a cute little card. Thank you. And some snakes, black and white snakes. So I got those stickers. They did send me a little sample of some foil. This one looks like it's called Melvin. It's like a pink leopard print foil. I grabbed some of these oval swatch sticks, not because I'm going to change all of my swatches to oval swatch sticks because I have so many colors, like that would take me forever. But I figured in videos, they might be kind of nice instead of your regular square swatch sticks. They might be kind of nice to like show colors or something like that. So I just got a pack of these oval swatch sticks. I did get some dried flowers from them as well in the most popular colors that I have used last year. So definitely the pinks and purples. This is like probably the most popular. It's like they're a light pink. So I wanted to grab uh, some more of these really tiny flowers. I grabbed two of these, I guess you'd call them dampen dishes or they're like glass jars with lids. And I wanted one, especially for when I'm using their Acrogel or their Polygel. Um, you have that liquid solution that you use to push and move the Acrogel around the nail. So I wanted one of these to put that liquid in because it has a nice lid. And then I just grabbed another one because I feel like I could probably use another one for something else. So I got two of those and I got two new chromes. This is star chrome, which is to me, it's like a rose gold, but it's almost a hair more like coppery than rose gold. I think they describe it as a road rose gold, but I feel like it needs like a touch more pink. Like it's almost more on the copper side, but it's still really pretty. And then I also got candy, which is a really nice, like your bright red chrome. So that's all I got from Magpie. The next package is from Famous Names and they sell the oil and the lotion that I use on all of my clients. 
So I needed to stock up and grab like the big lotion, which is their luxury daddy lotion. I got one for a client because my clients actually purchased these large bottles as well. So I got one for me, one for a client. So I was stocking up on this lotion. And then I got a new thing, which is really, really exciting. I've actually had it sitting here for like a week and I haven't even been able to open it yet. So this is my unboxing. So this is the iMix U Paint. This is the polish mixer, I guess is what you would call it. I got it as well from Famous Names and it's so cool, you guys. I. I have to open it right now because I have to check it out. So what it does is it's actually, oh, it's so cute and little. Okay, have you guys seen those like polish shakers that like you put the polish bottle in and it shakes it up like crazy? So it's basically like what this is, but it's not a shaker. So you plug this little guy in and then you have these little, what do they call these? Mixers. So you have these little mixers, it comes with 10 mixers and you drop these inside of your polish. You can use it on regular polish or you can use it on gel polish. You can use it on whatever, basically you can put this little thing in. So you drop one of those in the polish and then you set the polish on this machine. I'm just gonna grab a top coat just to show you guys. So you set the polish on this machine and then you would push the button to turn it on and it actually magnetizes these are magnetic so it actually magnetizes to the little mixer that's inside the bottle and it starts and it spins it so it basically mixes the gel polish it i guess it starts from the bottom and mixes it and moves the little mixer all the way to the top and continues to stir i believe it works for like five minutes but you can do it less or you can do it longer depending on how long you need to do it. Basically it like completely mixes your polish all the way up. Like you get a full true like mix and you don't have to worry about trying to shake them, which if you know gel polish, when you shake it, sometimes it'll go up into the cap. And once it does that, it usually will start to leak out the sides from under the cap. And it's really hard to get to that to stop because it just continually does it. There are certain colors that I feel like get separated easier than others. So this is gonna be so cool. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, let me know if you want like a more uh, detailed video about these, anything like that. And I will definitely get that for you guys. So again, that's the iMix U Paint. I ordered mine from Famous Names. Um, I believe you can probably look up that website as well if you wanted to see where else you could purchase it. But I'm super excited about it. I think it might be pretty cool. I'm gonna have to see how it works. Okay, these next couple things are from Erica's and I actually ended up ordering the Erica's Journey 30K Power Cordless compact e-file so if you have watched any of my live videos on instagram you've already seen this or i've actually i think i've showed it in the past couple videos um so i have ordered this new e-file and i will show you guys here out of the box so this is what the e-file looks like this little block you can order from erica's and i actually just stuck it on with some velcro so that way i can easily put the bits that i'm going to use like up here and i don't have to worry about them rolling around on the table or anything like that so that it doesn't come with this i added this on the top so just to kind of give you guys a little overview this is where you plug it in to charge it but you can use it without it being plugged in so now it's on and it has forward reverse it goes up to 30,000 rpms and you can see it's like digital, so it's super easy to read. We've got hand piece right here. Um, so far, I really like it. It's really compact, like here's my hand. Um, it's really, really small, like almost maybe a little bit bigger than a deck of cards, like it's pretty small. And so far it's been working really nicely. I love it. And I believe it has a little foot pedal to spot if you use a foot pedal, it looks like. But it comes in this nice, you know, little case here. Uh, so I don't have any complaints about it at all whatsoever at the moment. And also I do have a code 
for, I believe it's 10% off Erica's, which is AMB10. I'll make sure to put all the links and codes in the description box below. And then I also ordered from Erica's, they're in brand new. This is their T-Rex bit and it's super powerful. This thing can remove things so quickly. I've already been using it. And if you have clients with a lot of like embedded designs or like you have to file through a lot of product, this is gonna go so fast. Like it cuts through that product like so quick. I'm not even kidding. I actually, I only have one, but I need to order more so that I can have multiple um, of these to use during the day because it seriously cuts your time down so quick, especially if you need to file through quite a lot. So the next thing is a PR gift. This is from Nashley Nails and this is their ice gel brand that they carry, which has a ton of cool like different gel polishes. If you've seen the magnetic ones, these are the flash on flash off gels. So these are the ones that if you put them in different lighting, the glitter in them actually gets super bright or it gets like way brighter. So it's super cool. I'm gonna show you guys the colors that they sent me here. And again, these are from Nashley Nails and they did give me a coupon code if you wanted to order any of these or anything from their website, which is KD10, and that's gonna save you 10%. So the first one here is 1198, and it looks like this. It's a really pretty kind of neutral uh, glitter. Maybe I'll pop in a little picture here so you guys can see what they look like in the different lighting. And I actually did use, I think it was this one on a client already. And she definitely said like when she went out in the sun and different lighting, like they totally sparkled like crazy. So this is again, number 1198. We have a number 1199, which is a nice like kind of brownish, like mauve pink color. 1200 is a really pretty blue, like a denim blue, I'd say. 1201, it's like a nice, like rusty kind of orange color. 1202, another blue, a little bit lighter blue this time. Number 1203, which is more of like a nude color. I wish like the camera like picked up kind of how they sparkle in different lightings, but I've had the hardest time like capturing it, but I'll try to put a picture over here of kind of what they look like. Uh, number 1204 is gonna be your silver. And then number 1205, which is more of like a darker, like gunmetal silver. But they're so pretty, gorgeous. So again, those are from Nashley Nails and that is their ice gel. And these are the flash on, flash off gels. So another PR package I got was from Unique U Academy and Get Buffed Pro. If you've ever heard of Get Buffed, um, that would be Sarah on Instagram. And she is an amazing nail artist. Like the hand painting and like, I'm sure if you've seen like different character nails, she does the best character nails. I'm sure you guys have already seen some of her pictures. Um, so she came out with a line of her brushes and they nicely, very nicely sent them to me. So I'm going to show you these brushes seriously look like such high quality, luxurious brushes. So first we have the this is their 3D brush, if you do any 3D art. Look how nice that looks, that's so nice. So that's their 3D brush. Uh, this is mini. And this one looks like a like detailer brush. It's not a striping brush, it's not super long, but look how fine that is, that tip. Like that's so nice, so that's mini. Then we have Florence, and Florence looks just like a gel brush. This packaging is stunning. I love this packaging. And this one is Brienne. And she's a little bit longer than Minnie. I'll show you Minnie again. So here's Minnie, and then now we have Brienne. You can see Brienne's a little bit longer. And then lastly, we have Oksana, which is an angled brush. 
So really nice brushes. I was like so excited when they asked if they could send something to me. Um, they look so nice. And Sarah is known for doing her hand painting. So you know if she comes out with a brush that it's gonna be amazing. So these brushes again are from Unique U Academy and Get Buffed Pro. Okay, I've got a couple more packages. These last couple are again, PR or gift packages. So this next one was from Nail Addict LA and they sent me some gel polishes. Nice little, you know, nicely packaged. I'm gonna show you guys these colors here. And I've never used the Nail Addict LA brand. Anyone can buy them. So if you're not a nail tech and you are, have been wanting to buy some gel polish, anybody can buy the Nail Addict LA colors. And they also gave me a discount code for you guys, which is Nails by Katie Dutra, and it's gonna save you 55% off. So if you have been looking for like a DIY gel polish or something that you can purchase at home, then check these out 55% off if you use the code nails by katie dutra and so it looks like i got four five six seven colors here this one is called siest extra oh that's a really pretty like bright aqua blue i'd call it the consistency feels really really nice i've never used these before so keep that in mind like they're also vegan nine free and cruelty free and it's got some directions on the side of the bottle here. Uh, this one's called Happy Birthday. Don't, ooh, this one needs to be shaken up a little bit. But it's a nice... Um, it's almost like the same color, but a little bit lighter. More of a... More minty, maybe? A little bit brighter on the left and a little bit lighter for this one, which is called Happy Birthday. And then we have this one, Do Me a Favor. And do me a favor is like a pink nude color. And we have electric rose, which is, oh, really bright, bright pink. It is like a really pretty bright pink. Uh, this one is sisters before misters. And, oh, it's a nice metallic kind of plummy red. This one is electric red. Electric red is like a super bright red. I don't even think I have a red that's this bright. Like that is a super duper bright red. I feel like it's looking more orange on the camera, but it's not orange. And lastly is Paradise Fiesta. It looks like a jelly yellow. I wasn't expecting that. It looks more like a jelly yellow which I don't even know if I have a jelly yellow, but it's definitely like see-through because you can see that brush, so. And then lastly, um, Madam Glam sent me a package as well, which is another um, like DIY uh, brand that you can purchase, anyone can purchase to do their nails at home. And they sent me, looks like a little mini lamp, a little mini curing lamp as well as some colors here. So it looks like they sent me a, a base coat, a top coat, looks like a white gel polish, which is called Perfect White. Um, this one is called Pillow Talk, and it looks like a nude color, like a nude mauve. And then another nude, which is Creme de la Creme, and it's more of like, I don't know what kind of color, like a tan maybe, like a really light tan. So they sent me those as well. And then they also sent me a coupon code also, which is KDD30 and you get 30% off your order from Madam Glam. I do use primarily professional only brands in the salon when I'm working on clients, uh, but I know not everybody is a nail tech and who watches my videos. And some of you are just nail enthusiasts, just wanna do your own nails. Um, so, so these are a couple brands that anybody can purchase. So you don't have to be a nail tech to buy these gel polishes. So I know that some of you have talked about how you can't purchase the gel 
or the products that I show in my videos. So um, yeah, so here's a couple of brands that anybody can purchase and it looks like they have some really nice colors and the consistency is really nice as well. So that's kind of cool uh, for you guys out there who aren't nail techs and who want to purchase some gel polish. Okay, that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was a lot of stuff and I have like a huge pile of stuff to clean up now, but um, it was really fun and I um, am super excited to use a lot of this stuff for like spring and summer. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that you saw that you might want to pick up or if you want me to do a more detailed video on definitely let me know i love doing these types of videos for you guys and i really enjoy reading your comments uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already don't forget to follow me on social media and i'll see you guys in the next video bye